coach, I, mean, I should say, Elton, when you look at coach and what he so had to go through last year, there were some shortcomings. We know about the second unit, for instance, lack of scoring. It's one thing to be a talented basketball player, but you also got to know what kind of character you have next to you, whether it's in the frizz for you, because you know those guys are more often than not going to hang in there and not let you down. It was important to get the high character players because I knew, you know, once things got tough, when things got hard, they'll bomb. Is your biggest competition, your stiffest competition in the East, and how do you match up with them? Team, you talked about the versatility. But what I mean by that is the balance. You've got a nice inside-outside game with JoJo, Al inside, both good passers, and now you've got some shooters spread out as well. Absolutely. First of all, it was getting healthy. Um, you know, I spent some time in Cameroon with him and his family. We went to the gym every day, um, spent some time with him, and I just got to know him a lot better. But he, he works relentlessly, he worked tirelessly because he didn't like the way that felt, that game seven. It finished because we have some athletes that can definitely finish. Elton, one of your under the radar acquisitions that I was thrilled to hear about when it was revealed, especially when you bring him with to see where he's coming from because you want to know what his goals are and if they match up with yours, what are some of the things you kind of run by them? Yeah, mostly about role, role and expectations. Joel Embiid on the bench right now with four after 21 minutes. You would think his night is done. It's funny the impact that game seven loss to Toronto had on the Sixers. Not only helping to engage Joel Embiid. He finishes with a left hand. Nice move by Wagner. Yes. The first one though, traveling. That's the one I'm curious about. How would, how is that going to manifest itself? First call yesterday with Monty Matuchin, the, the leader of the officials. That was the line that stood out to me. When an offensive player can no longer dribble the, to the officials, that's when the gather has started. So then that's when the gather starts. That's when you know you've got times in the gym on the playground. Malcolm Gladwell says you're an expert with 10,000 hours of experience. Well, I, I, I remember hearing that growing up. I remember my first reaction was, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. We have Bede. Easy baskets here. The problem with that play is when he elevates, he's kind of off balance and then gets some contact from JoJo. And then he just falls. Center in Secaucus, North Jersey, about this one. Again, what do you think, partner? I, again, I think it's... The elevation off of one foot always leaves you vulnerable. I'd love to see guys jump stop, but he couldn't in this case. So what does he do? He tries to take off of one foot, and then the contact just throws him off balance, and he's unable to really gather himself 